Hi, it's Lee here. Thanks for returning to my channel for another Defemarimba. We've only got two more after this one. So it's the 26th of December today. And we're up to prompt 14. And it's Forgotten Snacks. I got myself a packet of these. So what I've done is I'm just playing around with this bit of paper. I was just going to do something like a fold, like a flip part, folder, what do we call it, folio. And then I thought of an envelope. And to have like an asymmetric flap on it instead of a full flap, just so it looks a little bit different. Okay, so glue down that. Okay, so that's the shape of my envelope. I'm going to cover that and I'm going to cover this. Right, I'm just going to cover this randomly with whatever I can lay my hands on. Alright, I'm going to stitch around the edge of it, but what I'm going to do is attach some stuff. I've got got this blue uh, ribbon that was around the parcel that I sent to me. Oh, I think I might make it all the way. Look at that. Okay, so that fits all the way around. I might use this, which is what I tore off the, that, um, whoopsie. Um, handkerchief. Right, we're going to go and sew that on. Alright, that's been sewed on. I want to glue this here, the raspberries, onto this corner. I don't know if they're going to stick. We'll find out. Try it with this glue and if that doesn't work I shall use the uh, art glitter glue. I think it needs a little closure of some sort too before I sew it. I should think about how I'm going to put that on. But I want to decorate the outside of it a little bit. I suppose I'm doing this a bit back backwards, aren't I? I should have I should have stained it before I thought about um, sewing on that. But never mind. This is the way it's going. So I can see, I can feel you shaking your head and I'm just trying to think about what sort of paint or ink I want to use on that. You know, I've got these, and oh, I don't like them, distress paints, but I don't know, I've never sort of really liked the way they look. And um, does anybody else have them and do they feel the same way about them? Or is it just me? Anyway, I'm going to use some of this green. I'm going to use a paintbrush. See, now that I said I don't like them, my bed this turns out really nice and I'll change my mind. So this is mm, peeled paint. Okay, um... There's got to be something else that I can do with that. It's pretty boring. Let me spread it around a bit and put some more water into it. Let's see if I can stamp some on. Got this little star stamp. It's got red ink on it though. So that's... Oh yeah, that looks quite nice. I don't want to cover up my little girl there. It's probably an easier way to do that. That's a good little stamp that. That's a, out of a kid's set. Got it at the toy shop. I really like that stamp. It was a set. Here's the other ones. There's like fish scales, don't know what they are, things, and dots. Let's put some dots on.
Hmm. I only found them because I was looking for something else in my stash. Okay. I don't think I want to put any more of that colour on. This one is a speckled egg. Oh, it's mixing. I knew it would, but... I'm just going to do some doodling on this, I think. I wonder if I used that on a proper stamp. What would it do? Let me wreck the stamp. Should probably leave it to dry before I do anything else wet on there. It'll all fall to pieces otherwise. Alright, I'm going to let that dry. So I've put an, an eyelet in there, so I'm going to attach something that will tie around as a closure. But what I want to do now is just to go around, around the edge, especially on the inside with forest moss, maybe peeled paint. Yeah, it's just a little bit more slightly more festive and another thing I did was where that gap is I um, glued a piece of leftover trim and put that in there just to cover up that little gap so it doesn't look so plain as it did before so I'm just going to do this inking inside here but a bit of ink might go to the outside so I'll do it anyway just going to do this edge so the green gets on the edge of the trim so I've got the frayed bit on the outside those fibers are picking picking that up So I'm going to show, sew the shot and then I've got to attach some of the string as the closure. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do on this one. Um, so I've made an envelope with an asymmetrical flap on it. I've used heaps of papers just to collage it. I've used the edge of the handkerchief, 
that Di gave me. I'm going to stitch that on as a trim. In here I've got another document that she gave me which was um, the the borrowing history page of a library book. Just made that into a little journaling card, pop that in. And then I've got this which is a printable from Anne's store, so Olga Cena Scrap Anne. And I finally used the little roses. Um, yes, so another ticket there. Uh, attached some string with a couple of beads on it to tie it around. That's the closure. And then that will just sit in my book. So that could go on there like that. Quite like that. Okay. And my forgotten snack was these sugar-free raspberry chews that gave me a dose of the you-know-whats. <laughs> Because I forgot about what happens when you eat a whole packet. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed that. hope it's given you some ideas. I like to do an envelope that's a little bit different, you know, like than the, the normal run-of-the-mill things. And I like the asymmetric top on it. And they're just paper beads that I made myself. Alrighty. It's nice and Christmassy. And that can go in there. Alright. Don't forget to leave a comment. Uh, thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe to my channel. If you've been watching these videos all the time and you're not subscribed, why not? My figures, my an analytics show me that only one third of the people that, sub that watch my videos are actually subscribed to my channel. So hit the subscribe button. You can be subscribed to as many channels as you like. doesn't cost you anything. So do that. Hit the button. Turn on the um, bell notifications. Happy crafting. I'll see you for the next video, which is ta -da, spaghetti box window. Okie dokie. See you tomorrow for the second last December for 2023. And then it's junk, junk journal. Blah, blah, blah. And then it's junk journal January, believe it or not. All right. Happy crafting. Hooroo. Cheers and hugs from Australia. Bye.